The Jack Benny Program. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, um... <laughs> you must... You must excuse me for laughing, but I just spent the most wonderful half hour that I've ever spent in my life, really. I was watching the film of my last television show. <laughs> and I don't know, I... I was so comical in it. <laughs> really, I said so many funny things. <laughs> now, I don't want you to... I don't want you to think I'm egotistic, you know? But I believe that a man should be honest with himself. I mean, if there's anything I hate, it's a comedian who is good and won't admit it. <laughs> now, I've never met one like that, but if I ever do, I'll hate him. <laughs> but really, I, you know, one thing about me, I'm honest. If any other comedian has a bad show, I'm the first one to talk. <laughs> That's just me. I, you know, I, I can't help it. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, to get on with this show, uh, I, I'm going to present my guest stars now. And if you have read the ads in the papers, you'll know that I have as my guests the very, very famous, internationally famous Mills Brothers. And I've been their fan for years and years, and I've always wanted them on my show. See? But uh, we finally made a deal, and I've got them, and here they are, the incomparable Mills Brothers. <laughs> well, I introduce you. I know they're waiting for you to sing, so go right ahead. Oh, baby, I'm... 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 Oh,
I mean, uh, look at let's. I hired these two. These are my guest stars. If they want guest stars, it's up to them. <laughs> Now, go ahead, will you? What was that? Our agent. <laughs> Shane, you're such a nice fellow. Well, you go ahead and sing, and I'll call the ambulance. <laughs> such a nice fellow. Oh, baby, I'm racking my brain to think of a name. Give to this tune, so bearing and croon, and maybe old thing will give it a fling. And now we start everyone humming a thing. The melody's dumb, repeat and repeat. And if they can't swing, it's got a good beat. And that's the main thing to make it complete. Cause everyone's swinging today. So we go little first one. It's not for Sammy K. 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 So first one. Can rock it for me There's never a doubt You knock yourself out Whenever you can hear what was fun Oh baby, I'm racking my brain To think of a name To give to this tune So Perry can croon And maybe old thing Will give it a ring And that will start everyone humming a thing The melody's dumb Repeat, repeat And if you can't swing It's got a good beat And that's the main thing To make it complete Cause everyone's swing it today So we go to the first spot It's not for Sammy K Hey, hey, hey you that was just great don't ever let anybody split you up <laughs> how long have you fellas been together now well mr benny we made our first professional appearance in 1928 1928 gosh when you fellas first started my car was only five years old <laughs> Well, Mr. Benny, actually, we started singing together a long time before that. Mm -hmm. At state fairs, community sings, and things like that. Oh, you did? That far back? Gosh. Well, which one is the, uh, is the older here, the oldest? You are. <laughs> That's the first time I was ever insulted in harmony. <laughs> Well, anyway, boys, let me, oh, let me ask you something. You just, uh, you just finished an engagement in Pittsburgh, didn't you? Now you're here. Yeah. Now, what happens now? I mean, where are you going from here? Well, before our agent shot himself, <laughs> he was negotiating a three-week engagement in Las Vegas. Oh, yes, I heard him whispering that to the ambulance driver. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that you mentioned Las Vegas. I'll tell you why. I want to go there for the weekend, you uh -huh. see, and I forgot to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. It's always so crowded. So I'll make my reservation while you're singing your next number. What's it going to be? Well, uh, oh, Jack. We thought... Jack. Don, you know the, the Mills brothers, don't you? Well, I know him. We have the same dietitian. <laughs> Don, I know you didn't come out here for that one lousy joke <laughs> that you probably made up yourself. So what is it you want? Well, Dak, after the boys did their first number, there were so many telephone requests for them to sing Up the Lazy River, I just thought I'd better mention it. Oh, I'm very glad you mentioned it because that's one of our favorites, too. Okay. And one of our biggest, too. Sold over two million. Well, that much, huh? But I don't know whether you fellas know this or not, but Mr. Benny made a record with his violin and sold over three million. Don, 
Oh, it made a big hit with the teenagers. Don. They used them for hubcaps. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mills Brothers will now sing one of their all-time favorites, Up a Lazy River. Oh, up a lazy river by the old mill run, the lazy, lazy river in the noonday sun, lingering in the shade of a kind old tree, throw away your troubles dream a dream with me up the lazy river where the robin song awaits the bright new morning where we can love along blue skies up above everyone's in love up the lazy river how happy you could be up the lazy river Troubles, dream a dream with me. <laughs> Operator, the Vegas Hotel. Yes? A reservation for this weekend. Jack Benny. Uh, would you hold on just a minute, please? Hey, Joe, how many vacancies do we have for this weekend? 41. I'm sorry, Mr. Benny, we're all filled up. <laughs> no. No, he said the temperature is 41. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to try another hotel. How could you turn down Jack Benny? After all, he's a big celebrity. My son even has a set of his hubcaps. <laughs> Look, I know what I'm doing. I'd rather he didn't come to this hotel. Why? Was he ever here before? About 12 years ago. As a matter of fact, it was the first time Jack Benny ever came to Las Vegas. I was standing right here behind this desk when he walked in the lobby. I'll get the rest of your things. Fine, thank you. Gee, Don was right. It's certainly a classy place, all right. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jack! <laughs> Don. Jack, where you been? You were supposed to get up here yesterday. Well, I was held up at the office last night, couldn't get away, so I left early this morning. I just got here. Now, uh, how have you been doing? Oh, I've been having a wonderful time, Jack. I just came out here for a breather. Oh, huh? uh, yeah, I want to tell you, this has been great up here. You know, I just spent three hours at the tables. Three hours at the tables? Well, how'd you do? Oh, I'm doing great, Jack. My pockets are loaded. No kidding. Yeah. Here, take a look at this, Jack. <laughs> Don, you look like the guy that broke the kitchen at Monte Carlo. 
Yeah. Well, Jack, why don't you go ahead and check in? Uh, I want to take this stuff up to my room. Go ahead, Don. I'll see you later. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Yes, sir. I'd like to. I'd like to get a room, sir. Well, it's quite an honor having you here, Mr. Benny. Oh, oh, you know who I am? Huh? Oh yes, I saw you once in a movie. You did? Yes, you were sitting right beside me. <laughs> Funny, I didn't recognize you. Now, I'd like to have a room, please. Yes, uh, let me... Oh, here's one. 350. Well, that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> that's not the price, that's the room number. Oh, oh you mean it's on the third floor? Yes. Oh, I see. Now, if you'll just register, Mr. Benny, I'm sure you'll like this room. Oh, fine, sure. Beautifully decorated, magnificently furnished, and has a luxurious dressing room. Oh, that's wonderful. Huh? Now, what's the rate of the room? $28. Look, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. I drove 350 miles through the desert. I ran out of gas twice, and I had to push my car for two miles. So I'm in no mood for jokes. <laughs> well, I'm not joking. That's the price, $28. Well, I'm not paying any $28 for a room. You crazy? Where's the manager here? Well, uh, I'll, I'll get him for you, sir. Okay. $28. All your things are here, Mr. Benny. Where? Right over there. Well, bring them over here, will you please? Y yes, sir. <laughs> sure, it's a beautiful place, but who wants to pay that kind of money? Ridiculous, this whole thing. <laughs> Where's my overnight bag? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, say, clerk. Clerk, you know, this is the first time that I've ever been to Las Vegas or in any place like this. And I'm uh, just wondering, he's so excited. What are all those funny looking, those machines, all of those? What are those things? How do they work? You mean those slot machines? Yes, yes. I've never seen them. How do they work? How do oh, they work? well, come with me. I'll show you. All right. <laughs> Uh, come closer. Don't be oh. afraid. Oh, oh all right. Uh, how does it, how does it work? Well, you put a nickel in here, and you pull this handle. Wait a minute, let's see. You put a nickel here, and then you pull this handle. That's right. I see. Huh? Now, if two cherries come up here, you get five nickels back. Well, that's fair. <laughs> and if three oranges come up here, you get 11 nickels back. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> now, if three bells come up, you get 18 nickels. No kidding. <laughs> and if three bars come up, you get the $50 jackpot. $50? That's sensational. Wow. Now, what happens if you put your nickel in there and none of those things that you mentioned come, come up, you know? Well, in that case, you lose your nickel. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, this thing will never catch on. <laughs> Mr. Benny. Yeah, this is Mr. Hodges, our manager. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Hodges? How do you do? You know, uh, I really want to stay in this hotel. It's a... It's a lovely place, but I don't know, your room clerks there, I can't get together with them on anything. Imagine wanting to charge me. I want to get a room here. They want to charge me $28 a week. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Benny, that's $28 a day. <laughs> well, that won't discuss at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bunny, there's nothing I can do for you. You see, I have no authority to change the rates. Well, there must be somebody I can talk to. Uh, here's our general manager. Uh, Mr. Thomas, yes. would you speak to this gentleman, please? Well, I'd be glad to. How do you do, Mr. Benny? Oh, Mr. Thomas. Oh, you, you know who I am, huh? Oh, yes. Oh, well, uh, 
I mean, you saw me on television, or No. Oh, oh, then in the movies, huh? No. Well, then, how'd you know who I am? Your name is on your ironing board. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, I'd love to stay here at this hotel, you know, but... Gee whiz, I mean, I can't get together on any room. I mean, I think that $28 is a day. That's absolutely ridiculous for a room. No, Mr. Benny, $28 a day isn't much for a man who comes here to gamble and see some shows and eat and drink and live a carefree life. Well, that's all right for that man, but what about me? <laughs> Mr. Benny, I'm very busy. I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, there is one room you can have for $4. I'll take it. I'll get you the key. Room 13. 13? Good luck. Uh, Mr. Benny, if you'll give me the keys to your car, I'll have the bellboy park it. Oh, the, the keys are in my car. See, it's that Maxwell out there, that blue, that light blue Maxwell. Oh, is that your car? Yeah. Oh, we owe you an apology. We've been using it to mow the lawn. <laughs> well, clean the grass out of it and park it. <laughs> Here, uh, uh, take these bags up to my room, will you? This is down. <laughs> I think I got a nickel here. Let's see. I'm going to try that machine. Hit the super jackpot. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! I hit the super jackpot! <laughs> Jack, you get your room? Yes. Yes, Don, I, uh, I Mr. did. Mr. Benny, yes. here's your key. Oh, your bags are in the room. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Don, I'm going outside. Uh, Jack. Now, Jack. Now, what? Aren't you going to tip the bellboy? Oh, Don, uh, you take care of him, will you? I haven't got any change. <laughs> We'll be back in just a moment, but first... We're a little late, folks, so I want to thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. And I want to thank the Mills Brothers for such a fine performance. <laughs>